Hey, Virgo Sun Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for your afternoon spread for June 13th, 2022. This is a reading for what is their karma uh, for what they've done to you? What is their karma for doing magic on you? What is their karma for trying to evil eye you, to harm you, to take away what is rightfully yours? What is their fucking karma? Let's get it, Virgos. Their karma is that they're going to end up becoming absolutely petrified. They're going to be scared that people don't want to collab with them anymore with the Three of Pentacles. People are going to see them for exactly who they are. And when they see that they were nothing but fake ass, uh, <laughs> fake ass people, people are going to officially keep them on block with the Four of Pentacles. No one's going to want nothing to do with these people anymore because people are going to start seeing them for exactly who they are. Saturn's coming in and going to destroy everybody for what they've done to you, Virgos. Anybody who tried to send you grief, ill wish, evil eye, you magic, whatever the case is, a lot of bad shit is going to end up happening for these people left, right, and center. These are very selfish people, people who want to just take, take, and take, people who want to not let you have your wheel of fortune, your success. They tried to literally stop your success. They tried to stop your abundance, your flow. They tried to take that literally away from you, but in actuality, what they've done is they took it away from themselves. Of so who will live fortune in reverse. Saturn does not miss anybody at all. Saturn retrograde karma, it doesn't miss anybody for that. It's going to be right at your front doorstep. Will of fortune in reverse. Five of swords, yeah, you want to take away from people. Yeah, you want to ill wish on people. Well, now, now, now let's see how well you do. The nine of swords is not anything better than the nine of swords upright. Believe me, if you guys know, you would know that the nine of swords is just as shitty as the fucking nine of swords upright. It, it, and it is what it is, all right? Five of swords, nine of swords, eight of swords in reverse. There could be a little bit of horrible shit that's going to be coming in. I don't want to talk too much about it, Virgos, but we already know what the worst circumstance could possibly come in. And especially if people try to do some sort of death ritual on you guys, but you need to be careful with, with, with energy like that. With the five of swords, nine of swords, eight of swords, people may have done some crazy energy towards you guys. These people are... <sighs> watching you as well they're kind of scared too with the page of swords they're kind of curious and it's kind of scared and a little bit defensive here hoping that they're not going to receive their karma but karma is literally coming towards these people and they're going to be tired they're going to be exhausted they're not going to know how to fight this off it's going to be very much so treacherous for them ten of swords in reverse the tower card people who are doing dark magic people who are sitting in the darkness with the higher fit in reverse literally maybe even paying people to also help them out these people are no longer going to have help. They're no longer going to have money. They're going to have a lot of disastrous energy, treacherous energy, imminent energy, and a lot of problems that are going to come into their life in every way, shape, or form. Somebody here is also going to be losing their gifts with the Hierophant in reverse to the Six of Pentacles. You don't bring service into the, into the collective. You don't bring service into the earth plane. You don't help people on a positive level with the Hierophant to the Six of Pentacles. So for that, we're going to take that away from you. You had the opportunity to help the universe out with your divination, but you chose to go out of your way and hurt people out of maliciousness and out of envy and you didn't want them to have what they were already gifted with. And you tried to take that away from them. So for that, the universe is going to take it away from them. Hierophant in reverse to the Six of Pentacles. People are going to be losing their gifts, Virgos. People are going to also be going through a lot of disastrous energies for what the things that they have done unto you. They are going to even not have any help. And they're also not going to have any money coming towards them anymore. You guys are going to come out of the Five of Pentacles. Especially if people were trying to block your success and your money. These people are going to end up becoming exposed with the ace of swords in reverse to the lover's card somebody here people continue to expose themselves without realizing that they're exposing themselves and for some strange reason virgos you guys they keep getting got they all get got when you're of a divine being god is always going to reveal to you your enemies they will he will always reveal to you your enemies it's not going to be fucking hidden at all, Virgos. These people, they they say st a lot of stupid shit to you, fucking Virgos. They, they say a lot of fucking stupid shit to you with the Ace of Swords in reverse. And these people are foolish. And they're being exposed with the Lovers in reverse with the Ace of Swords in reverse. And that's why the Five of Pentacles is in reverse now. Because you're seeing them for exactly who they are. You're actually catching who these people are too. You're not going to say nothing, Virgos. You're going to stay humble with the Queen of Pentacles. Because whatever it is that you guys are focusing on with the Queen of Pentacles is much more greater than the enemies and the darkness that they tried to put you into. This Pentacle is much more important for you 
to keep your resiliency and to keep your humbleness and to keep your perseverance as well. The more you persevere, the more you're going to always succeed. So for that, Queen of Pentacles, you're going to stay guarded. You're going to stay grounded. You're going to stay humble. You're going to stay beautiful. You're not going to allow anyone affect your energy. You're going to stay grounded as well. God in the universe is coming in to bless you with the Ace of Wands energy because you guys played your part and you played your part very fucking well. You could have fucked them up with the same energy they fucked you up. But you're like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be the Queen of Pentacles. And I'm going to fucking know my position as a queen. So for that, the universe is bringing you an opportunity, maybe even a business offer for you guys with the Page of Pentacles. And it's going to be very much so <sighs> rightfully yours. <laughs> because you guys stayed with your perseverance. You guys are humble. You guys stayed focused. You guys kept your intentions on your goal with the Queen of Pentacles. No matter what these people did to you, Virgos, they did not get you out of your pedestal. They did not get you out of your chair. You didn't have to go fucking attack them the way that they was attacking you. Look at all the blockages. Four of Pentacles. Nobody wants to fuck with them. These are all fake bitches with the Three of Pentacles. Remember, look how scared they are. They're all scared too because they're all scared because they know that they're all going to get their karma with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Look at how fucked up their energy is. Look at them side eye you and evil eyeing you and now they're not now all that evil shit is coming back onto them they're losing their gifts they're losing their power they don't divination don't even want to fuck with them anymore with the hierophant reverse the six of pentacles no if you're not helping out the universe if you're not helping out the collective then why the fuck are we helping you so for that six of pentacles in reverse we're not even going to give you your money we're not even going to give you your prosperity anymore we're going to let you sit in the tower energy because when you are when you are supposed to be doing something of the divine and you chose to go against the divine and you decide to hurt a chosen we're going to make sure that you reap what you sow. Six of Pentacles in reverse. These people were nothing but evil. Maybe warlocks, Virgos, all right? Evil fucking warlocks. They're going to end up at a huge loss with the star card. A huge loss. There's a very hateful Queen of Wands, an uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, who's going to end up having a lot of problems. And they're going to be sitting there trying to figure out, like, why am I having problems? Why am I having family problems, relationship problems. Why is the community not wanting to fuck with me anymore with the Ten of Cups in reverse? Why is that? It could have also been another Virgo, an Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is very fucking envious and jealous of you. They tried to literally steal and cheat their way with the Queen of Wands in reverse of the Star card. These people were literally trying to fucking steal your energy left, right, and center, and they are so pissed off about it because they were never being able to be successful at it. With the Queen of Wands, they never got what it is that they want. And that's why they're in the Ten of Cups in reverse. And they're having to sit in isolation and, and all alone and being a hermit trying to figure out why things are happening. What do you mean? Why are you wondering why things are happening the way that they're happening? You created this for yourself. You need to reap what you sow. What you put out into the world, that's the energy that you're saying. You know what? I don't have an issue receiving that same energy back. You want to hurt people, then get expect pain and hurt to come back towards you. You want love for people, expect love to be coming back for you in return. And this is exactly what they didn't do. They sent out hate, jealousy, envy, uh, evil eye, disgrace, literally a disgrace. Someone here is honestly a disgrace with the Queen of Wands in reverse. How fucking dare you? How dare you to come to a level like this where you are this type of person and and you think that that shit is okay? You need to go within and ask yourself with the Hermit card to the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Wands in reverse, why you are the way that you are. What made you become this type of person? And on top of that, you're not protected. Just an FYI for you, Queen of Wands in reverse. You're not protected in any way, shape, or form. You have no protection on you whatsoever. And no one's coming in to save your ass with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Like I said, you're not protected. Seven of Wands in reverse. Your karma is going to be that every relationship that comes towards you, it's never going to work out. You're going to end up dealing with a lot of deceptive people, a lot of fraudulent people, and a lot of people who are going to lie on you, cheat on you, deceive you. <laughs> and you're going to be wondering why. You're going to end up in a really severe and horrible relationship with the Two of Cups in reverse where you're going to end up loving this person so much but they're not going to end up loving you two of cups in reverse and you're going to be really sad about it 
And that's going to be your karma for what you have done to this Queen of Pentacles who had nothing but good intentions for everyone around them. And this is what they get back in return. So for that, they're going to become blessed. They're going to, These evil people are going to have to go within and find out why this shit's not working out for them, why they're unhappy, why they are miserable, why are they feeling abandoned and lonely, why they're trying to get cleansing after cleansing after cleansing and none of the fucking cleansing that they're doing is fucking working for them. Because when you cleanse and you praying, and when you praying and you want to pray to the higher to the higher realms, no one no one's coming to fucking save you. No one's coming to save you. There's no cleansing. There's no nothing. There's nothing at all that's coming to save your stupid ass for the shit that you did to this specific Virgo. How fucking dare you? Like I said, you're a disgrace, and you're gonna feel the energy of a disgrace when you come into that hermit energy and having to look within and find out why you are the way that you are literally a piece of shit energy you're not protected at all with the seven of wands not only are you not protected you're not going to be able to fight off the energies that are going to be coming towards you now because that's your energy seven of wands in reverse two of cups in reverse five of cups you're going to be sad that you're going to be this is karma for you every relationship that comes your way you're going to always give them more than you than you are going to be getting back in return and for that it will put you in depression sadness bitterness misery uh maybe i don't want to go there but definitely a position where you're not even going to feel like why is all this happening? Why can't I find love? Because you didn't want to ha let this Virgo here have love in their life. Somebody here continue to continue to attack your heart space, Virgos. They continue to hurt and attack your love life as well. So because you attack that area of this specific Virgo's life, that energy is going to come back for you. And you're going to end up in a position where you're going to end up loving someone so, so much. But they're not going to love you at all. In fact, they're going to play you like a fool. Three of cups in reverse. You're no longer going to be happy. These people have no more success. They were all only all they were was your enemies. They're going to have suffering with <sighs> their manifestations with the seven of pentacles are not going to prosper because the seven of pentacles that they need to that they're going to end up having are going to be owed to the devil because they made a lot of offerings to the devil. And now the devil owns them. Do you see how they're chained and bound to the devil? That's because this devil here owns the people who kept making sacrifices on you and who kept making offerings to these entities and these deities to take away from you. So for that, we're not going to, the devil is not going to give you what you want with the seven of pentacles. The devil did his part by saying, do it, do it. And you were weak enough with the Hierophant reverse to fucking do it. <laughs> so now the devil's laughing at you and saying, ha, ha, ha. I had you do my dirty work for me, knowing that this Virgo is highly protected, highly intelligent, smart as fuck, and grounded, and even though I might hurt this Virgo, I'm going to come back and hurt you a million times more, seven of pentacles, six of wands, we're going to make sure that you don't get this, because remember, the devil is always going to get you the weakest link. To harm somebody who's very protected. To test you. Because at the end of the day, judgment is here. <laughs> the devil owns these people, Virgos. The devil's going to take away their seeds that they've been trying to plant. It's not going to prosper at all with the seven of pentacles in reverse. No one's going to recognize them. No one's ever going to look at them. No one's ever going to see them. There's nothing to celebrate, Virgos. The devil is literally putting an end to their shit. And you guys can continue to move on with your life with the king of pentacles, especially for the ones who may have business businesses who are financially successful. So people who are working very, very hard on a specific career or path. You guys are going to continue to grow on a spiritual level with the King of Cups. You guys are still emotionally fine. You guys are so fair, so honest, so, uh, oh, they said intriguing. <laughs> Very mysterious as well, Virgos. Your struggles are going to be over with the Five of Wands in reverse. A lot of people played a lot of trickery shit on you, but you have a lot of much more happiness coming towards you because all your enemies have been exposed and you guys have seen all your enemies with the Sun card. And as, uh, as, 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 uh, as humble as you guys are, you didn't do nothing to hurt them with the King of Pentacles. That's why your energy is still upright. That's why you're upright and everyone else is in reverse. Now, with the King of Pentacles to the King of Cups, 
you guys are so filled with integrity. You know not to get your hands dirty with stupid shit and stupid people like this. So for that, you guys are going to continue to prosper and be become successful with the King of Pentacles. You guys are still going to grow on a spiritual level and you're already at a spiritual level. Your struggles and your worries and your problems are over. To five of Wands in reverse and you can finally reach your happiness with the Sun card. You're going to be happy in every area of your life. You guys deserve this, Virgos. You guys are going to continue to move forward. And where are you guys moving forward to? To the justice. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, Virgo, this is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't think it was like this. <laughs> Bitch, you better be fucking scared with the nine of swords in reverse. <laughs> You better be fucking terrified with the page of swords wondering what the fuck is going to come for you. You better be careful because while Virgos are going to continue to move forward because they know what is rightfully right for them and the divine is going to continue to take care of them. You guys are going towards going towards justice to the judgment card. Judgment, spirit, angels, divine, archangel Gabriel, uh, archangel Metatron, all the archangels, all the ascended masters have seen the shit that you guys have been going through. Also, God, with the two of wands, have watched everybody make some sort of sacrificial spell on you guys to fucking take you out, to hurt you, to do a fucking ritual on you, to wipe you out completely, Virgos. And God is seeing absolutely everything with the two of wands. And he's, singing, he's sending out his biggest angels to literally curse the fucking ones who did harm on their chosen one on their divine children and that is something that they're going to have to uh, pay up for and it's going to be very much so detrimental uh, for the ones who may have done this <sighs> justice is going to be restored for you guys virgos that everything you guys have lost it will be coming back for you guys tenfold uh, judgment is officially here with the justice card the sword is right up you see that sword that sort is right up, meaning we're judging. It's judgment time, bitch. Literally, judgment time to the justice card, to the judgment card. Is judgment is here. Of course, judgment is here. Especially people who try to hurt your relationship, Virgos, with these two cards. The karmic is needy, bitchy, and greedy. <laughs> I'm so funny, Virgos. The karmic is greedy, needy, and bitchy. So this Queen of Wands here is too needy, too clingy, too bitchy, too fucking jealous, and it is what it is. They will do everything. I will do everything I can to keep the DM and D the five mask. So especially if these people treat exactly what I said back over here. These people were doing fucking spell work so that way you're not involved with their relationship, that you're fucking left lonely, that you're all by yourself. So because they ended up doing that to you, they're going to end up sending people their way that they're going to fall in love with, but then no one's going to fucking fall in love with them back. Nobody's going to love this person back. These people are going to lie on them, cheat on them, steal from them, take from them, be fraudulent with them, tell them that they love them and everything, like drag that relationship on for years to come. And they're not going to be in that relationship with it. This is somebody who thinks they're in a relationship, but they're not in a relationship. Boom. That's so fucking crazy, that energy right there. You're going to think you're in a relationship, but in actuality, you're not in a relationship. This king, this Knight of Cups is going to play you for about a good seven years, a good two years. And the whole time you thinking you in love with him and that you guys are going to get married. Now nah, you're not getting married. They ain't shit at the end of the day between the two of cups over there, Virgos. That situation will never be fixed and it will never be healed and it will never come anything come out of it. Um, <sighs> judgment is also being called on a Gemini Libra Aquarius, especially if this person tried to hurt you and harm you and talk shit to you in any way. Judgment is going to be coming in for these for these people. Uh, justice is going to be coming in. This is really bad karma that's going to be coming in for these people here, Virgos. They're going to put them in a position that the exact same way that they wanted you to be stagnated, the exact same way that you had to fucking not be able to move is exactly how they're going to end up having to move for the next little while. They're not going to be able to go anywhere, hang man. And that's because God is telling these people, nope, you heard a divine being. Not only did you hurt a divine being, but you heard somebody who was a prophet, who was a prophecy, got to be careful and even then i can i can care less if you if 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 you if you be do what you want to do at the end of the day you you're hurting yourself i, I for me i for me I, do what you want to do i can fucking care less me I, I don't fucking care at the end of the day this is your life this is your soul this is what you choose to be as an adult there's no you can't tell a fucking grown up oh if only they knew better if only my enemies knew better how what do you mean 
What, what do you mean? If only my enemies knew better. Why are you talking like that for? Every adult knows what the fuck it is that they're doing. They choose to do what it is that they do because they think it's okay to do what they're doing because they think that they have some sort of power over you because they realize that they come out of hate and jealousy and infidelity and recklessness and look at them having to go within with the hermit card to find out why the fuck they're like that. If only they knew better, then they wouldn't have done that. No the fuck. Everyone has their own fucking free will. They choose to do what they want to do and they chose to hurt a divine being. They hurt they chose to hurt someone that the divine and the angels love very very much. And if you knew how important this chosen was chosen one was, you wouldn't have even crossed that fucking line. But you did. You did and you chose to. And you took the time out of your day to use that energy to hurt somebody who's not fucking hurting you. You will be cursed for it. You will be cursed for it. That's the judge this card to the judgment to the Queen of Swords. You will be in fact cursed for it. Move on with your life, Virgos. All right. <sighs> Chaos is going to be coming for these people, and they are going to be fools. People are going to be catching who these people are with the fool card. These people are absolutely delirious to think that they were never going to get got. They thought that they were never going to fall off that cliff like a fool. Their guardian angel kept telling them, stop it. Stop with the shit. Troubled waters are coming for you. Troubled water. And they're like, no, I'm going to do what I want to do. Fool card. Yeah, okay. You guys are moving on at the end of the day with the three of wands. You guys are going to continue to keep going, Virgos. You guys are going to continue to keep going, Virgos, with the Nine of Pentacles. And you guys are going to continue to stay spiritual. You guys are going to continue to stay faithful to yourself. You guys are going to continue to continue, continue to move slowly with whatever it is that you're trying to prosper. For that, you guys are going to have a handout with the Ace of Cups. The angels are coming in to bless you with prosperity, abundance, tranquility, unconditional love, true love. The angels are coming in to bless you guys up, Virgos. Why is that? Because they know that you deserve it with the Nine of Cups. You work so fucking hard with this Nine of Cups. And you're going to fight for this Nine of Cups, Virgos, because you created this for yourselves. Nobody helped you uh, stack up this one, one, two, three. No one helped you stack up these Nine Cups. You did all this shit by yourself. Nobody came to save you. You had all these people attacking you left, right, and center energy and to attack you in every area of your life. But how in the world do you continue to stay on top with the Nine of Pentacles to be blessed in every area of your life, to be so protected? So for that, Ace of, Planet, Ace, of, Ace of Cups to the Nine of Cups, you guys receive your Ten of Cups right here. You're at a, you're at a Ten of Cups while you're at a Nine of Pentacles. Nine, nine, ten. Nine plus one is ten. And the reason why that is, is because you guys are the divine feminine. You're not going to go out of your way to hurt people. It's not in you. It's not in you. No matter how many times someone comes after you or hurts you or tries you, you're never going to put yourself in a position to be anything like them. Because that's not how your heart moves. That's not who you are. You know yourselves. A lot of you guys come from royalty and you were actually real uh, queens in your past lives. So you guys know that this is the energy that you will end up having to receive because of the presence that you decide to put out into the world. And your presence is that I am the divine feminine. I am a queen. I am an empress. And when you're at a high position like this, of course, they're going to want to attack you because you come from royalty. Nine of Pentacles, <laughs> empress. A lot of you guys have come from, <sighs> I'm seeing past life, Virgos. So in your past life, a lot of you guys had to even take had to take on uh, warrior positions as well, being the empress that you guys are. So you did have bow and arrows with you. You did have a beautiful white horse with you too, and you did have to fight certain battles. So that's why a lot of you guys are spiritual warriors at the exact same time, and why you guys can handle so much on a on a spiritual level, and why you guys can't seem to get destroyed with the nine of pentacles of the empress card. You have enough faith within yourself to leave people behind and to leave everyone where exactly is where that you met them because divine and the angels are always going to take care of you and guide you with the temperance card. You have so much pace, patience for yourselves, right? And people always come after you with the moon card. Any full moon, half moon, wanting moon, gibbous moon, whatever the fuck it is. 
all right? They always and will always try and come in and get you, Virgos. You people are so deceptive on you with the moon card. So deceiving. Could also be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius at the same time. <sighs> this person's going to maybe even try and reach back out to you guys again, Virgos, and hoping that they can apologize to you. But you guys know that this person is nothing but a trick. And you guys are going to catch their lies with the Page of Cups to the Seven of Swords. Somebody here is only apologizing to you. Because, not that they feel bad, no. They're not feeling bad, Virgos. This person is facing the King of Wands of the Moon card. This person is going to end up being put in a position where they're going to end up in so much fear and paranoia. That they're literally going to see themselves as an enemy. <laughs> they're like, damn, I'm an enemy? Like, I'm that much of a horrible person with the Moon card? And then they want to come in and try and apologize to you and make some sort of offer to you, but they cannot because anything that they're saying to you, it's not true. It's not real. It's not a fucking real apology. And you have to remember that this person is nothing but filled with burden, stress, and a complete loss with the Ten of Wands. Yeah, Virgos. These people are going to be very, very wild. Uh, <laughs> there's going to be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's going to be trying to speak to this Aries. There's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going to try and speak to this Aries Leo Sagittarius about what the next move is about this Emperor right here. But there's everyone is kind of like trying to abandon ship at the end of the day. Everyone's going to be abandoning ship Virgos and going on and trying to figure it out on their own at this point with the Magician card. This Cancer Pisces Scorpio who likes to act like they have everything under control when they don't, they don't. This person here is going to end up with a mental illness or some sort of sickness with the Magician card for what that whatever it is that they've done to you. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Cups, all right? Yeah, you guys are going to always be fine and protected, Virgos, at the end of the day, all right? But at the, uh, there's going to be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, an Aries Leo Sagittarius, who, still are, who's, who are still not getting it. They're not getting it, Virgos, because they're stupid. And they're going to try and pull some sort of fucking magic on you. But I want you guys to know that that magic is never going to find you. It's never going to find you. There you go, Two of Swords. During the new moon, the people are going to attack you again. But they don't realize who the fuck it is that you are. From what I'm seeing here, someone is attacking themselves. You guys are going to be just fine and happy. You guys are going to have your wishes fulfilled. You're absolutely hurt and heartbroken with the three of source of the high priestess energy. That these people are not, they're not getting it, Virgos. They have vengeance that is going to be coming for them as well. Which is going to be putting them in a position that for every sword that they hurt you with, they're going to be receiving that sword. You guys are going to be fine with the ten of pentacles to the world card. These people are going to be exposed. And you guys are going to be blessed with the ace of pentacles. You guys got, this chapter is about to be over and done for with you guys. You guys are now we're gonna have to experience this shit the way that you guys have this you guys got attacked left right and center left right and center left right and center no one gave you a fucking break nobody gave you a break and when i say that these people are so treacherous and so disgusting that they would literally want to fucking be you is a whole other level of jealousy and envy that they literally go out of their way to attach themselves to you to try and take from you, to try and use your intuition and to use your energy so that way they can go ahead and pull cards on you, so that way they can have your energy, so that way they can shine bright like you. They're disgusting. They're fucking disgusting. And that, that's exactly what it comes down to. These people are blocked, Virgos. They're blocked. I'm When I say it, I mean it. They're blocked, Virgos. <sighs> You guys are going to be just fine with the world card. And any direction you guys choose to go into, the universe will bless you in any area. You want to go left? Fine. Right? Fine. Up, down, wherever you want to go. The universe is literally telling you, hey, wherever, whatever direction you want to go in this life, we're always going to make sure that you get the Ten of Pentacles or the Ace of Pentacles. Because of the fact that these people put you in so much chaos in your life and always attacked you left, right, and center... We're going to make sure that we put you in a position that you're going to be blessed in every area of your life. No matter what you want to stop doing, whatever it is that you're doing now, you want to, you're still going to be blessed at the end of the day. Because the universe has to pay you back for your troubles, for what these people have done to you. So karma will be that you will always be blessed and you're always going to be taken care of by the universe. And they're going to make sure that you get your inheritance and the pentacles, ace of pentacles. You're always going to be fine financially. 
Money is never going to be a problem for you coming into the future, especially between now and the next 10 years. Money is not going to be a problem for you between now and the next 10 years because you guys are building yourself a legacy with the Ten of Pentacles that's going to be able to bring you the financial freedom that you guys are looking for which will put people in a position that they're going to be heartbroken for the rest of their life, that they are not making it the way that you guys are going to make it. These people are going to end up in some sort of fucking psych ward. Mental health issues. Could have been also a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who was from your past as well, who wants to come back and who feels horrible, but this person definitely needs mental help with the Four of Swords to the Queen of Cups. They try and act like they're absolutely fine and normal and they're emotionally emotionally stable with the queen of cups but they're not mentally they're down they're gone they're done for four of swords and the universe kept telling these people like hey stop it <laughs> we have something better for you with the four of cups why do you want what's some what's some for somebody else right you guys are gonna have fine fun be fine virgos there could have been a cancer pisces scorpio from your past who did domination spells on you to control you to do uh they they were saying and uh, do as i say spells whatever i tell you you have to do it go get this and then you guys run off and go and fucking do it. and you guys are always wondering like why am i always listening to this fucking bitch for because they were doing domination spells they were doing do as i say spells on you guys you guys had turned your back on this person. You guys fucking moved on with your life with the Knight of Pentacles. You guys knew exactly what the fuck was going on. This person was nothing but a hater because maybe this person saw that you were that you were better than them, that you were skilled at whatever it was that you did. But you guys have a you guys have a duty in this world, and your duty is is to bring service into the world, and that is the whole point of you being a Virgo. You're meant to bring service into the world. Whenever you're stressed, bring service into the world. Stay focused on and helping people. That is a whole purpose for you guys, Virgos. You wonder what your life purpose is? Your life purpose is to physically and spiritually help other people. Help people. You're meant to help people. Bring service into the world. Because you guys do it the fucking best. The devil, Virgos. Alright. Makes one... Makes one worse makes one worse off than ever before tricks mortals into being bound accepts child sacrifice these people tried to fucking sacrifice at that type of level virgos that's exactly why i was telling you guys with the devil card he's like ha 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 i had you do my dirty work and i had you attacking somebody who was a divine being and who was fucking chosen who was protective and i went out of my way and i made sure that you were attacking a divine person this devil here, he's so funny. He's a fucking trickster. So when the devil was telling you, yeah, 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 do it. Attack them. Attack them. They weren't telling you to attack them because this devil hated that divine being. No, they were telling you to attack them because they knew that you were weak enough to fucking <laughs> be manipulated by the devil's tactics to hurt a divine being meanwhile this devil knew they were going to end up owning you in the end <laughs> and you guys made fucking offers to this devil <laughs> and now the devil owns your prosperity and your money and your victory and he's like yo you're never going to be recognized bitch i'm gonna take all your money you're never gonna have no more dollars in your life and every seed that you tried to plan for yourself oh well guess what it's mine now the devil has it now the devil literally has your seeds they, they he took everything from you because he knew that the person that you was attacking was someone who's very much so special but he needed someone to do his dirty work for him so you were the weakest link with the hierophant in reverse of the six of pentacles and he's also not happy either because you promised this devil so many offerings and sacrifices and you didn't own up yet and you didn't pay them for it yet. So for that, the devil's going to take it from you whether you like it or not. <laughs> the lovers causes women to love men and brings them together in love. So what this devil's going to do is this devil's going to bring in love for the one that was absolutely damaged and uh and and hurt during this process ace of pentacles they are going to in fact bring you your abundance your virgos as well it gives all worldly power and treasures makes one rich quickly so 
for that you guys are going to absolutely get your riches you guys are going to be absolutely fine virgos and you guys are going to be blessed in every area of your life with the temperance card being at the bottom of the deck there you guys got teaches geometry and liberal sciences makes great noises and warms water uh, looks like the archangels are coming in to take care of you guys and help you guys out with geometry which is absolutely stunning energy for you guys you guys deserve everything great and more um, judgment is here based on the fact that these people have tried to hurt you so badly. You guys are going to be put in a position where you guys are going to be able to make your divine masculine, divine feminine love you so much. They're going to try and come back towards you. They know the drama that this karmic was causing you and they're not going to let this karma to get away with the shit that they are doing. This person cannot let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop dreaming about you and it's hurting them so badly, Virgos, that they can't get you off of their mind. Um, but they are going to try and find a way to reach out to you soon. And anything you guys want to manifest, make that wish. Wish You have everything you need to create. That's the magician card. You guys have the abundance. You have the tools that you guys need. Magnetic connection. Angel keeping this relationship protected. So no matter how much this per these people want to fucking attack your relationships. And no matter how many times you guys go into separation with this person. The angels are going to make sure that they protect you and your divine person. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Absolutely safe and protected for the shit that these people have done. And their karma is going to be that they're going to have no more money. They're going to fall in illness. They're going to have lots of accidents. A lot of problems that are going to be coming their way. Um, for every evil eye that they had sent your way is going to hit them back millions more times they're going to end up being exposed rightfully so they reap what they sow these people are no longer going to have gifts and they're no longer going to have money the divine doesn't want nothing to do with these people because they were supposed to be of the divine but they chose to go in a different direction and their love life will never prosper they're going to end up growing up to be very very lonely there is people are going to end up in a in a relationship for about two years or up to seven years being with a narcissistic person because somebody here wanted to be you so badly and they don't understand how you are the way you are today. So for that, they're going to end up having to suffer exactly how you ended up having to suffer uh, before all of this shit ended up happening. A lot of people don't know what you had to go through in your past before. So for that, they're not going to have to... Uh, they're going to have to learn the lessons and go through narcissistic narcissistic relationships where it's going to cause them to be in relationships for two to seven years. It's going to waste their time, take away from their time, put them in a lot of sadness, a lot of depressions, a lot of codependency, a lot of fraudulent, a lot of cheating energy. And as much as you think that you're in a relationship with this person, you're actually not in a relationship with them at all. This person is going to lead you on to keep you around for a good seven years. And when you think that this one is your man or your girl, you're going to come to the realization that you were nothing but single <laughs> for a good seven years. And you're going to love this person so much, but they're not going to love you at all. Thanks, cuties. Bye.